Uh, hey, you baby. I was so happy. I tried to join on the 15th, but my connection was horrible. I wasn't even at home. I was at my cousin's house. I was waiting to join. I'm so happy you picked me. What's your name? You got a lot of energy from the top. My name is Katina. Katina. How old are you, guys? I am 27. I'll be 28 this 20 year. 27. And how, uh, 27. What's your zodiac sign? I am a Gemini. Gemini. Do you have any kids? Yes, I do. Yes, yes ma'am. I have four. Yeah, four, four kids. How old are your four kids, Katina? I I have a seven-year-old, a soon-to-be five-year-old, a soon-to-be three-year-old, and a soon-to-be two-year-old. Can you give me all their current ages, please? Okay, so, so seven, she just turned seven, four, um, two, and one. By how many men? Uh, by three. Three men, okay. Why are you not with the baby daddy of the one-year-old? Okay, well, the, the, the last two are by the same man. He is currently incarcerated narcissist if i could say to summarize it that is satan himself honey so why you have two kids by satan to summarize it i'm gonna just say this i wasn't ready to be in a relationship it was a very lustful experience i was young i learned my lesson you live life you know you make your mistakes along the way i didn't believe in a bit so at that point i had my children okay and i get this that ain't okay. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. She just warming up. All right, she hitting the ground running. I'll give her that. <laughs> this is gas. Her whole, this might be the first Kendra interview where it's complete gas from the start to the end. I'm telling you. I mean, she came on. Y'all, see, I got a good sense for the spirit. I said, this is giving killer clowns from out of space. And that was harsh for her not to say nothing, but I'm correct. <laughs> so Okay, let's let her yeah. go. Yeah. Four kids, four for three. All of them, them near uh, arm babies, like, you know, one, three, and, four, and six or something. And the peppy, the last one, is currently incarcerated. There ain't no breaks in this vehicle, you understand? <laughs> Everybody doesn't believe in abortion. But have you heard of birth control? Yes. I just am not one that believes in birth control because i've had serious effects from it like i've i've had thrown up i've bleeding for an entire year an entire six months you know just that whole it's a lot with the physical okay now why are you not with the four-year-old dad he's deceased he got killed oh my god i'm so sorry to hear that it's life Ooh. Ooh. Okay, and the seven-year-old dad, do y'all cope here well? Um, I don't even know. I, I don't want to touch bases on it. It's personal, but some people just aren't fit to be parents or whatever. But I was 19. I learned my lesson. Okay. I met somebody that was suitable. I was engaged to my first child's father. I was engaged to my second child's father, but he ended up getting killed. We parted ways, you know. Um, he ended up getting killed. We were working back on the relationship. He ended up getting killed. And yeah, I ended up dealing with my last children's father. Making us pay for water, you son of a... You're making us pay for grapes? Apples? Things that God gave us for free? Uh, uh, this is a dating show. <coughs> Somebody paying for this? Grapes? Apples, Bonquisha. This is the appear. Yeah, <laughs> Kelly. It's so kind. Of, this interview is so kind of productive. To, I don't know. Maybe I'm lying. I'm 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 staggering here. I don't know. Our baby days is deleted or incarcerated. She was engaged twice, but they kept getting deleted. Mercy on my soul. And she talking about you know I was young. It was just a lustful experience. Just a lustful experience. I've been just having. She and she can't. She can't do birth control. My word. She said, "Uh, uh, birth control can't do that." I'd be having allergic reactions. She said. She said, "I listen to here, man." She said she bled for a year straight. <laughs> she said she bled for a year. Can I bled for a year? I ended up with stigmata. You know, I was decapitated for half a year and. You know, my lungs ain't work for six months. 
right. <laughs> Golly. All sound like emotional damage. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Bone Quisha. And when did he go to jail? Girl, September, but we ain't been together for two and a half years. So what well, a baby's one. Yeah, we um split when I was pregnant. He busted my face open. So yeah, he was abusive. Okay, so we got you gotta select a better selection of men. I think I'm ready. Lady now, Kendra, I've been off the market for two and a half years. I've been healing, working on myself. By no means am I perfect. I still got progress. I still need to work on stuff. But I think I'm level-headed enough to make the clear decision whether or not a person is suitable to be in my life or cut them off. All right. Let me get more into information. Katina, yes. correct? Yes, ma'am. Katina, 27, Gemini, mom to four. So you've never been married, right? I was engaged twice. Twice, but no. Okay, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm certified CBRF, so home health care. Home health care. And what city do you live in? Milwaukee, Wisconsin, unfortunately. Milwaukee. All right. So Milwaukee. Shout out to Jay Prince. Hey, Jay God. Prince, this is your queen. God. I'm trying to tell you, shout out to Milwaukee. There, there may be decent people in Milwaukee. I'm just telling you from the people I know from Milwaukee on the internet. I don't know y'all in real life. On the internet, Milwaukee is a different land. It's like Flint water is in all through Milwaukee. All right. God damn. <laughs> yeah, this is this is raging toxicity. What's terrifying is the way she's, you know, recalling her her baby daddy trauma. Like it's normal. She like she said, life be happening, deletions, prison time. My last Kendra said, you got a one year old. How were you not intimate? You know, you was intimate two years ago. You know, she said, oh, that was my last. He bust my face wide open. He went right for me. Hey, I see y'all, Milwaukee millennial. I see y'all. Y'all have to eat this. Y'all have to eat it. We ain't done. We about to cook. <laughs> we got Katina. 27, Gemini, mom to four by three men, home health care, lives in Milwaukee. What kind of man are you looking for now, honey? Okay, I, I am looking for, I wrote a list. I'm looking for a man that's clean, good hygiene, respectful to women, educated. Um, I really don't care about a past because everybody has a past. As long as you learn for, from it, you're walking in your truth. Um, somebody willing to learn and that's capable to teach um i have a deep desire for learning um and then i love a man that help that will help cook clean step in at home wants marriage one or two more kids because i'm not done i want six kids um and then you know nobody that is perfect but somebody that's willing to grow make progress holds their self accountable communicates can lead and provide someone who put possesses the ability of affection, affirmation, acts of service, gifts, et cetera, et cetera. Good job. Okay, Katina, let me ask you this. Cause ah, we put all that in the pot. Y'all know what we, that came back. She said a lot. I'm the translator. Here's what she said. You need to eat me out. Hi, I'm out here in Miami. Hey, looking for the hoochie daddy. Huh? That's what she said, y'all. If y'all didn't pick that up. Hey, you know. what she said you all if you all did not pick that up you know. <laughs> I am flabbergasted. This sister just recalled, you know, baby daddies out here being deleted in the most violent of manner. They ain't die of old age. All right. The last one is incarcerated. With all of this, being a mother, thinking about your children and the, the life journey they got to travel. You're like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a four for three out here. Why don't I bring two more kids into this? Huh? We all got past. I, I want two more. I want to have six total. Because if I have six, you know what that means if she has six. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to catch you, Super Chat. We're going to let her keep cooking. She up here. She up here like the, the hibachi man, that itchy bond. She's spraying fire and she throwing Everybody. fire. She's going on. Yeah. She's yeah. flipping onions and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, she spread fire on your face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is Mama Hibachi. Yeah, 
locker, locker. You spraying that flammable oil on your face and smashing your face right on that griddle. Wham! You want some? Wham! She cooking. This will be said. Now you are a mom. You're twenty. You're twenty seven. You have yes, four ma'am. children, and um, you know, young children, seven, four, two, and one, by three men. Now you have a a, a situation. Two of your baby daddies. He's the same father. He's in jail. One is deceased. Um, but what would you say to the guy that might be concerned that you have four kids and you know three of the four are under the age of five? Well, I would say that I was young, and you know we all live life. We make mistakes along the way. As long as you're willing to grow, you you learn from your mistakes. You you know you correct where you went wrong i think it doesn't really matter i don't hold no judgment to nobody else and it's not nobody place to judge me because that's god's doing nobody else's okay that's not All true right. now let's keep going what are your deal breakers oh yeah my deal bre- it ain't long it ain't long but my deal breakers is somebody that's controlling abusive um a liar a manipulator a narcissist and somebody that again that i was saying um somebody that doesn't walk in their truth again everybody has a past and i'm okay with somebody having a past as long as somebody walks in their truth okay um do we gotta look a certain way girl call me a black man i like them chocolate like my mama now what's your ethnicity i'm mixed um my mom is mixed white irish italian all of that my dad is puerto rican dominican black so i'm like a mutt so and you but you want a black man yes ma'am okay okay um now what about money should you make a certain amount of money um i, I wouldn't necessarily put a price range on that just somebody that's not struggling to meet the basic needs and does have the ability to go out on dates and you know just be somewhat generous. I'm not saying that they have to do everything because I pay for dates too. And I can't hear you, honey. Uh, dates don't necessarily have to be a financial thing for me. I'm like a picnic in a park type of person, and let's kick our feet up and watch a movie. You know, I and I I treat my man kind. I rub feet and everything, so. Okay, she rubs feet and everything. Let's do the Kendra cam. Okay, let me back up because I gotta set it on the edge of my bed. Okay, can you see me? Okay. Ah! okay. I mean, you have a great body to have four kids. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let me see if you can see if I step back like this. Okay, we can see you. All right. Hold on. <laughs> A big old booty, and everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. And also, because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, mm-hmm. and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh throw some at y'all. Y'all saying she cute? I say y'all, y'all tripping, man. Yeah, I think no, y'all. Listen, he just told him, hell. A big old booty, and everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. That's so all they looking at her. They see that twag. Oh, uh, now she cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, talking about cute. Uh, yeah. Cute. Yeah, I ain't going to even get into insulting this sister. But She's only 27 years old with four kids. That box, that box is done. Look, she out, listen here. Y'all know, the, <laughs> shout out to the youngest. Y'all know the vibes. <laughs> she out here getting hunched on crazy by by deleted nug nug and prison bay y'all understand and, and she out here like i don't use condoms baby right i'm the raw dog queen out here runching i'm <laughs> runching out here hunching raw mm-hmm. trying to make the pain go away straight trauma bond hunching you can't compete i sh- i promise you you can't compete with trauma bond hunching that's and that's all she done had what you gonna do for her Body to body, meat to meat, baby. <laughs> That's it. That be about it. Uh huh. So, yeah. Girl, I'm talk, girl, I'm talking body to body. Gee, gee, gee. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So here we go. Um, oh man, where we at here? <laughs> Okay, so y'all acting up this evening. Appreciate you looking for the Glaze Galaxy. Come through with 100 euros. Euros, I think. Says four for three. Had two kids with Satan. It's 4 a.m. here. <laughs> this just making me go crazy. Doesn't believe in birth control. One baby daddy deleted. Engaged twice. Other baby daddy busted her face wide open to the white meat. She wrote a list <laughs> on his marriage and six kids. Is this camera on me? Get me on the Regal Rumble. I'm ready to cook. It's on you. It's on. I didn't Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. <laughs> so listen, we're going to let them keep going. Uh, looking for Glaze Galaxy, James Jones. Let us know if y'all stopping this woman because she ain't done. We're going to let her go. We're going to let her go. James Jones says, just show her love. So, Kat Katina? Yes, ma'am. Now, do you want the guy to be in Milwaukee? No, he does not. And actually, I prefer him not to be in Milwaukee because I've seen enough through the city and I'm just not pleased with what I've seen. Okay, so you prefer him not to be in Milwaukee. Um, what is the age range you would date? You're 27. Uh, I'm somebody that is at least my age, so be turning 28 this year. Um, and I say I will stop at maybe... 40. 40. Okay. Now, when was your last relationship? Two and a half years ago. My kids okay. five. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Last um, week. I believe it was November last year, so I'm trying this new thing to not have sex this year. So, so you want to go all of 2024 and not have sex? If I meet somebody that possesses the qualities that I'm looking for and is going good, then I'd be willing to break that agreement to myself. But if okay. I don't find somebody that's worth it, then I plan to keep my cookies in my jar. Now Holy hell. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. I'm trying to let her go because I know y'all tried to get her, but she, <laughs> she won't stop. She said, I'm trying this new thing. And uh, she ain't lying. Can you say you try to be sales all year? She said, if if a dude come in here and he's smelling the way I like and that print printing, I I I get rid of this. I get rid of this uh intermittent celibacy. <laughs> he can get these cheeks. This is wild. Sex isn't a big thing for me. I have four kids, but that's what? Because I'm, you know, I'm working with some um, good stuff. Oh, let me take it back a second. Here we go. Hit the like button. Let me take Bone Quisha back. She's getting ahead of herself. I have four kids, but that's because I'm, you know, I'm working with some um, good stuff. But uh... so you said, so you, so you want to hold the good stuff in? Now. Yes, ma'am. This is too good to just be giving out. Well, you gave it out four times, honey. Uh, yeah, but again, I was engaged twice too. So I think my mistake was when I got to the last one because I was just living, I was having fun. In all fairness, I, I was laid, I laid down on my back, I made those kids, so I birthed those kids. Okay, so listen, fair enough. I, I, I do believe in growth, I do believe in um, learning. When you learn better, you do better. But now I'm going to just say this to you because men will say, now you want me to date you without having sex. And you know, you have sex, you have four children. Some men, and I'm not even saying that you should give it up. Like you should have been practicing this to be quite honest. But now moving forward in your current situation, there are gonna be some men that's gonna say, wait a minute now, why the hell I gotta wait for the cookie? And had, I gotta be all this great it. stuff. Huh? My kids, his dad's had to wait for it. I didn't just, Jump right in and have sex. So while they were waiting, oh. yeah, cash, they cashed in the window. Said so. <laughs> Y'all ain't like that. Y'all ain't like that. Y'all like she she uh she four for three, and now the next dude. See, see what I'm saying? She got three. No other way to put it. Bastard children here. But they almost won that because she was almost married because she was engaged. All right. 
And but the next day I come in, in this could have it too good to be given to you for free. They got it for free, but you can't. You can't get this too good. All right. Marry me. And then I'll let you sample what they they didn't got all of it. Mm. <laughs> so shout out to looking for Glaze Galaxy. Y'all seen enough. She wasn't done, but we're gonna tap her out. We're gonna tap. Mm. She said something wild here late in the interview. Um, there was a guy on before her. There was like this nug nug. He, uh, he was saying some stuff, and then it was a point where Kendra asked her about him, and she was, you know, asked her if she would date him, and she was like, hell to the no. Like she went on a whole rant about this guy. I wanted to see if I could catch it. Does it just show further the delusion that this woman will be picky choosy? And she is funked up. Yeah, she listen here. Y'all saying she most likely was in foster homes. She most likely was in the, the supply closet with like three other students. She's in the classroom with with four of the students and five teachers. <laughs> So let me see. Let me see if this is it. But my um, child's father, my son, if you disrespect me, you call me bitches and all of that other stuff, then That's me, and I just don't feel that it's working. I shut down. So Listen I to Um, I cook. I so I don't cheat. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anything she said. That would work for you. No, he's 42 and he's still chasing a um what did he say he do stand up? Oh no, baby, you need to let that go. It's just like some of their hairline, they need to let it go. So he wanna have a chance. He's not good enough. Absolutely not. Absolutely all I heard not was excuse after excuse and a man that doesn't hold himself accountable. That's all I heard. Who say it again? All I heard was him make excuse after excuse and a man that did not hold himself accountable. That's not what you're looking for. Absolutely not. <laughs> Let's get it together. Let's do it. So, so like I said, let me see if I can pull him up for a second. I'll show y'all a picture of this guy. She, uh, she, she said that all she heard was a dude that won't hold himself this, accountable. This, this brother here, he was on there. He got, you know, a bunch of baby mamas, whatnot, and a little nug nug ish. And she said she wouldn't date him. This is the man she talking about. This is the man in question. He 42, he had a couple kids, and she was like, no. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, Mutt Bone Quisha, her words. All right. Fair game. Beggy choosers. I, I've been said that, you know, <laughs> what's the old saying? Uh, beggars can't be choosy. Oh, contrary in 2024. Yes, they are called choosy beggars. They choosing what you give to them. <laughs> when that man is y'all equally yoked for each other, that is your husband. In a, mm -hmm. in a real world scenario, that's your husband and you, your stinking self, sitting up here talking about you are overqualified for him. That's why the date market is what it is. See what I'm saying? <sighs> is she up here? I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. <laughs> I really need this money, Nate. She giving that uh, show. Uh, she talking about she don't want nobody in her town because she didn't she didn't she done with them. She didn't seen them all. No, they didn't all seen you. Yeah, she didn't out listen here. She well known in the in the hood. They know who her baby daddies is. Them ninjas been walking around talking about the things that did to her. She ain't got no she ain't got no value where she at. Everybody know her. Just like all y'all hometowns. Y'all know who she is in y'all hometown. Y'all know who she is. Hmm. One real stomp down home who don't take care of themselves. Who really a real deal stomp down. That's her. She a real deal stomp down. <laughs> and as Dime say. You know, it behooves me that your hoes be walking around him stinking, funk, funk, kitty cat, licking ass. You hear me? And just got them all out those. <laughs> She so, said she said no, she said she working with some good stuff. What is that? <laughs> All these sisters love acting like Dave Vagina is so extra special. <laughs> yeah, but the whole time Nug Nug pull up on them like I got $40. 
forty dollars today. And if you nasty, I throw in sixty. If you nasty, most uh, nasty. Now, if your house nasty, if you nasty. So, <laughs> this woman here, shout out to um, looking for Glaze Galaxy. All right, come through. He says, send her to the dark, dark depths. Celibate after four kids. Is this camera on me? Here we go. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. I mean, she's 27 years old with four kids under the age of six. You know, one year old, two year old. What are we doing? We well, see this far here. too often. Like, this is becoming the norm for young melanated sisters, and it's, it's that, terrible. That she, listen. <laughs> Yeah, we can't smell the smells that's in that uh, mobile home. That's a mobile home. And this stuff just goes on and on and on. You get this woman. She back up here, four for three. She's going to meet a guy, fifth kid, sixth kid. And she went on. She was talking to Kendra. She said she want to have 10 kids or something she was saying. And she just goes on and on. And she's she going to get what she's looking for. I say that. I want to have 10 kids. I want to have six kids. Shout out to the Heathen Queen. She answered my question. I said, I don't understand. I said, what Boom Queen should doing this? This don't make sense. And he, the queen, gave me an answer. She said, Mr. Walker, they getting what they want. I said, what about the kids? She said, ain't about the kids. They getting what they want. They want me to meet hunching, and they want, they want little people, you know, to, to use and abuse. He says, are we surprised why marriage rates are low? No, we're not. And they're going to continue to decline. 